Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with the prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In Omni Patris et Fili et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hands in Inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encountered. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calugsod, pray for us. St. Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. St. Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Augustine, Pray for us and our family and friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes. And those the people took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and cancel inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Santi. Amen. The, the words we picked up on it to do COVID 19. This is.
ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Inclusive Report. Today is Thursday, August 5, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this evening, let us have our daily verse for today from Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to the Inclusive Report Thursday edition. We shall now commence our topic proper. Thank you. Hi hey everyone. Good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for the Inclusive Report for Thursday, August 5, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hansen Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss the about self-awareness and values clarification as a Filipino. The nature of self. Self-concept is the image of who you are. Self-awareness is the extent to which you know yourself. Self-esteem is the measure of how valuable you think you are. And affirmation is a statement asserting that something is true. In self-affirmation, the three useful ways to look at self-affirmation are I am, meaning your self-image. I can, meaning your abilities, and I will, your goals. So let us define self-awareness. According to Boyle, self-awareness is the process of understanding one's own beliefs, thoughts, motivations, and recognize how they affect others. In essence, being self-aware is the ability to recognize and accept yourself for your external and internal existence. Skills Development Improvement projects should normally begin with an assessment of the gap between the current situation and the desired future situation. Having an accurate sense of who you are helps you decide what you should do to improve. Often, self-awareness will reveal a skills gap that you want to work on. In knowing your strengths and weaknesses, Self-awareness helps you exploit your strengths and cope with your weaknesses. For instance, if you are someone who is good at seeing the big picture that surrounds decisions, but not as good at focusing on the details, you might want to consult colleagues and subordinates that are more detail-oriented when making major decisions. Cooperation between big picture oriented decision makers and detail oriented decision makers can produce high quality decisions. Developing initiative decision making skills. Leaders with well developed emotional self awareness are more effective intuitive decision makers. In complex situations, intuitive decision makers process large amounts of sometimes unstructured and ambiguous data and they choose a course of action based on a gut feeling or a sense of what's best. This type of decision-making is becoming more important for managers as the rate of change and the levels of uncertainty and complexity in their competitive environments increase. Managers who are highly emotionally self-aware are better able to read their gut feelings and use them to guide decisions. Stress. Jobs that don't suit your personality trend tend to give you more stress than jobs that are more compatible. This is not to say that you should never take a job that conflicts with your personality. However, be aware that you will need to work extra hard to develop the skills for that job. And there are jobs that will be less stressful for you. Motivation. It's very difficult to cope with poor results when you don't understand what causes them. When you don't know what behaviors to change to improve your performance, you just feel helpless. Self-awareness is empowering because it can reveal where the performance problems are and indicate what can be done to improve performance. In addition, awareness of your psychological needs can increase your motivation by helping you understand and seek out the rewards that you really desire, such as a sense of accomplishment, 
additional responsibility and opportunity to help others for a flexible work schedule. Leadership. When we understand what makes us tick, what gets us excited, why we behave the way we do, we also have insight into what makes others tick. To the extent that other people are like you, and of course there are limits to the similarity, knowing how to motivate yourself is tantamount to knowing how to motivate others. Your personality is very important. Why? It's because we don't normally change our personalities, values, and needs based on what we have learned about ourselves. An understanding of our personalities can help us find situations in which we will thrive and help us avoid situations in which we will experience too much stress. Why values is important? It's because it's important that we each know and focus on our personal values. When we focus on our values, we are more likely to accomplish what we consider most important. Why is habits important? It's because these are the behaviors that we repeat routinely and often automatically. Although we would like to possess the habits that, that help us interact effectively with and manage others, we can probably all identify at least one of our habits that increases our effectiveness. Why needs are important? It's because Maslow and other scholars have identified a variety of psychological needs that drive our behavior such as need for esteem, affection, belongingness, achievement, self-actualization, power, and control. And why emotions is important? Well, first of all, to be honest, emotional self-awareness has become a hot topic of this discussion because it's one of the five facets of emotional intelligence. To understand your own feelings, you should know the cause and know the impacts of emotional self-awareness. Obviously, that sounds simpler than it is. So the roots of the Filipino character, we have history, culture, and language, and the list goes on. To summarize our topic proper, it is in self-awareness that as human beings, we have the innate capability to do something good to others or to a community where we belong in the way we were brought up. There is only authentic bayanihan or volunteerism if one has reached a full degree of self-awareness. It is in this context that value of volunteerism becomes unconditional in the sense that it is the concrete expression of altruism. By knowing our core values, this would be a good start in helping and developing our country. And that's the end of our presentation proper. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we're done with our presentation proper this evening. Now, let us move on to our announcements. Okay. Announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. First, our products are the following. We have our tote bags. If you want to buy our tote bags, here are the following prices. If you want the picture without text, sizes range from small to large, and prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want the picture in the front with text at the back, sizes range from small to large, and prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. That's for the picture in the front with text at the back as well. Also, we have our Bagong Tapang t-shirts and the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. So the sizes range from small to quad XL and prices range from 325 pesos to 400 pesos. The available colors are white, black, blue, yellow, and red. For the first time, guys, 
Hansen Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks made by its own artists. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches. Prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want an acrylic glass, you have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 peso charge, but it's optional. We also have our stickers. We include RES, 250 pesos, and the ko ang mga Pinay PWDs, 150 pesos. So how can we pay? First of all, well, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from the following payment providers. Gcash and our Maya on this number flashing your screen, 917 Nine six eight four. Again, that's zero nine one seven seven zero one nine six eight four. In addition to GCash and RP Maya, we're accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Sabuan Lanuidier, but you need to message the Hansen Inclusion Facebook page. And for our delivery methods, we will deliver your ordered products via the following courier providers. If you're living in areas under NCR Plus Bubble, it will deliver to you via GoGo Express. Talk, talk, Lala Move, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines, and nationwide via LBC. Hansen Inclusion Philippines online store will be open to the customers living in GCQ and MGCQ areas only. Operating hours will be at 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it will be closed for areas under ECQ and MECQ. For a full list of orders, please visit the Facebook page of Hansen Inclusion Philippines or email hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Okay, now let us watch a video about Barya para sa Inclusion. Barya para sa Inclusion. So, well, first of all, Maria Parr's inclusion aims to help PWDs who are less fortunate and unemployed due to the trying time. And also as a fundraising project for H&I to be a formal organization and its expenses. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger, you can help PWDs and H&I for its projects and expenses in the future. So my question is, how can you do this? We have two ways. If you want to do this by a coin bank, put some any amount of coins in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If it's full and heavy, message us at HNI Facebook page for the deposit. Also, if you want to do this via GCash, send any amount via GCash number. 0917-701-9684 and send your proof of donation via Hansen Inclusion email with the subject of Peace of Price Inclusion dash G dash dash your name. Magpinuan tayo hanggang do. And here now is our Maria Paris Inclusion. So guys, why are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop and to donate to Hansen Inclusion as well. For those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hansen Inclusion Philippines. Let's now move on to our next announcement. On Saturday, August 28, 2021 at 7 p.m., Hansen Inclusion will have our online concert, Include Filipinas, Teaming Inclusion 2021, and the online concert for a cause. And the purpose of this online concert is for the benefit of, the, of Hansen Inclusion, for its formality, and also for its expenses as well. So watch out for this and stay tuned for this, this Saturday, August 28, 2021, at 7 p.m. If you want to be a volunteer singers for the Hemi Inclusion 2021, 
Send your one-minute video audition at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Hands in Inclusion Philippines is looking for volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and or a desktop, and a strong and reliable internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you're a college graduate, send your resume at hansi.inclusion at gmail.com. This month, in celebration of the Filipino Heritage Month and the National Language Month here in the Philippines, we'll be celebrating the Buwanang Wika in Best Buddies Philippines. The event will start on August 7, 2021 at 4 p.m. Merienda Hapon Po. August 13, you will have the Sing Along Friday with Vincent Lao Day. August 14, we will have Indak at Diwa. We will also have Wellness Wednesday on August 18. We will also have Bula sa mga Abubot on August 21 and the Pagsayat Umawit on August 28. So if you're interested to join any of these events, for Best Buddies Philippines in August this month, this year, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and link as well. Also, follow Hands and Inclusion on the following social media pages and its digital platforms. Facebook, Hands and Inclusion PH, Inclurajo, Inclu Sports, Inclunihan, Inclu Gaming, and the online shop. Instagram, Hansa Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNR Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansa Inclusion Filipinas, and Inclu Gaming as well. So please do this as early as now. For those who did this, thank you. Okay, it's now the time for our shout outs and greetings. For our birthday celebrants, I would like to greet happy birthday to um to uh, Gianna Aventajado and uh, and to others celebrating their birthdays today. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. I would like to say good evening and thank you for following. To my family, good evening. Hi. To Hands in Inclusion Philippines, especially to Roylan, Roylan Marlang and the team. Good evening, po, and thank you. To uh, Best Buddies Philippines and Best Buddies Manila, thank you also, especially to Michelle Aventajado and Sir Martin Romero and the team as well. To Angat, PWD United, especially to Miss Carmen Zubiaga and the team. Good evening po and thank you, especially to Sir Archie, Sir Gabs, Sir Errol, Sir Hendrik, Miss Chiki, Ma'am Gloria, and the others in Angat. Good evening po and thank you. And to other PWD organizations, Autism Strong Philippines, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, we also have um, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, Special Olympics Philippines, SM Cares, A Child's Dream Foundation, Miss Possibilities Foundation, the Guild of Thomasians Medicators, Ateneo Speed, and the Psychological Society of Assumption. Thank you, Paul. To my high school and college friends, good, afternoon, good evening, Paul, and thank you. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo, if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and well-being as well. Also, to those who are living in Metro Manila, August 6 to 20 tomorrow is the start of the enhanced community quarantine. So, um, stay home and be safe as well. I would like to share you our final words for the day, our quote for the day, in relation to our topic. Okay. From Deepak Chopra, by becoming self-aware, 
you gain ownership of reality. In becoming real, you become the master of both inner and outer life. To those who are watching us on Inko Radio, thank you for. And if you missed this episode, it will be uploaded on the, and to be viewed on the Hanson Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Okay, that wraps up our episode for the Inclusive Report Thursday edition for Thursday, August 5, 2021. I'll be back again this Saturday and Sunday for the One Inclusion Live weekend. Magpayo tayo ka inclusion and of course, editorial. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, this is your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalang tayo ng tayo ng Diyos ng poong may kapal. We include our yes, we at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other and we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you, good night, thank you for watching, and bye for now. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, paalam, pabuhay, at salamat po sa inyong kanunod. Bye-bye!